so I just wanted to give a quick update to what's been going on with the iPhone and 3.0 and AT&T uh, over the past couple of days because there's been a lot of stuff going on. Basically, 3.0 came out on Wednesday. The uh, iPhone dev team, you can check out their blog, but they have not come out with their jailbreak for it yet or the unlock. The unlock comes out tomorrow. The jailbreak was supposed to come out Wednesday, but they've had some problems. And the YouTube app is the, is the culprit here. Hopefully, once they fix out the crashes with the YouTube app or it not working, whatever they're doing, go read their blog, then uh, we should have the jailbreak, which I recommend because uh, AT&T has not officially announced... But they will be getting tethering, but they're going to charge $30 a month, which is a problem. Because I don't want to pay an extra $30 a month when I'm already paying $100. I understand tethering takes up a lot of data, but when I jailbreak, I have PDA, PDA net, which I bought for $15. That allows me to have unlimited internet. As long as uh, they can keep it masked and AT&T doesn't find out and charge me, then I'm going to keep using uh, PDA net. So I already upgraded to 3.0, but I'm just waiting for the jailbreak to come out so I can get my side quarter and my PDA net back. Um, if you want tethering, you can get it now in a hacked version. It's actually the real thing. You're just enabling it. Um, if you go on your iPhone to help.benm, that's B-E-N-M dot A-T slash help dot P-H-P, then you can actually click on, um, I think it's like mobile config, and then actually download the settings for tethering on your phone. Restart your phone after that, go into settings, network, and turn tethering on, and it works. Um, AT&T and the other carriers have found out about this already, and they're warning people not to do it because uh, they say they're going to charge you when they find out that you're tethering without paying for the plan. So this is probably what's going to happen, but uh, they probably won't catch you, so go ahead and do it. Um, also, some of the new things that are coming out... Um, the, the voice app uh, is a really awesome app. I've been using it for a while now. Really clear, and it mimics the um, the visual voicemail app, so it's really good. And then Spotlight has been an awesome feature. I've used that so much in the past 10 minutes that I've had the phone. And, well, that I've had the firmware. And the, uh, so Spotlight's been really good for searching all my mail and everything. And then finally, uh, finally, after so much time, I'll have landscape texting, and it's so much easier to text in landscape. And, you know, the background processes are coming. I don't have any apps that use it right now, but hopefully I'll be getting some soon, and I'll be able to test all that out and talk about some of the apps that come out. And the last thing is MMS. AT&T has officially stated that they will give you MMS later this summer, of course, no date, but it will be free of charge to those who have unlimited texting plans, like most iPhone users I assume do, I know I do, then I'll have MMS, which I'm really looking forward to. There are hacks out there right now to get MMS if you have another AT&T card with another AT&T phone. Then you can swap the SIM cards and actually choose a different plan and fake the iPhone when you put it back in to think that you actually have a different plan with MMS because all other AT&T phones have MMS. So there actually is a way to get MMS now, but I don't recommend it because yeah, it's a lot. It's actually pretty difficult. So go Google that if you want to learn how to do that. Um, other than that, you know, hopefully AT&T will get on the ball, but uh, you know, what's come out of this is that the jailbreak is obviously still useful um, because I don't want to pay again. Oh, the last thing that uh, came up is that users that can upgrade in July, August, and September now can upgrade uh, as of Tuesday to with the $200 price instead of the $400 price. So for those three months that you would have been able to upgrade, you know, you can now upgrade on Tuesday, which is awesome. It actually might have been last Tuesday, but I think it's I think it's Tuesday coming up, and, uh, you know, that doesn't affect me at all, I'm still pissed because I have to wait till December, oh well, um, but, you know, with the lack of MMS and, and uh, tethering right now, it's kind of pointless, so, jailbreak for the win, as always.